governors involved. This video of a shark being dragged behind a boat is so alarming and disturbing it's caught the attention of Governor Rick Scott. This, as new pictures and video flood Florida Fish and Wildlife investigators, some may be linked to the shark dragging investigation. Chip Osowski joins us now live. And Chip, this whole thing has blown up on social media. Well, you're absolutely right, Jen. New troubling images and videos. And an FWC spokesperson told me investigators are looking at them all. These are some of the images and video Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission investigators are now pouring over trying to determine if additional crimes have been committed. The original video picturing a shark being dragged initiated the online outrage. If it's open season to hunt deer, am I allowed to torture the deer? I think the answer is no. Legal expert Brian Camerino explains why investigators are being careful with this case. If those involved have strong connections in Manatee County, that could be a factor. What you know comes into play as, as being a former prosecutor is who's the person that they're suspecting of having committed the crime? Who is he as a person? What connections does he have? And that might come into play. You know, if this gentleman is connected, uh, that may there may be some political influence. You know, but they're also going to look at the facts as well. FWC is not saying who's involved, although social media sleuths are naming names. The governor now chiming in, sending a letter to the agency suggesting laws could be changed. Quote, I encourage FWC to review Florida's fishing regulations and state statutes to ensure such inhumane acts are strictly prohibited. Professional captains like Billy Noble say these images and the others circulating certainly do not reflect his industry. And it's totally disrespectful to the resource and uh, to the people that love the resource as far as I'm concerned. So the big question is, what will these new developments mean for the professionals in the fishing industry? Will it mean additional regulations? Could it mean new laws? The captain that I spoke with earlier this evening told me he doesn't believe so. But in the same breath, he told me we'll have to wait and see. Jen? We all will. Chip Osowski, live for us tonight. Thank you.